I found out something astonishing the other day, and officially, Game Pass now provides us with over $7,000 in value. There are so many games available, and it's incredibly hard to narrow down what to play, especially as we all have such busy lives. That is why today I've done all the work for you, and I'm providing you with a list of the best 35 games you can play on Game Pass today. With that, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, as 94% of you have not joined a fast-growing and dedicated Xbox channel. But without further ado, let's jump into it. To kick things off today, we have probably one of the best arcade racing games ever made, and that is Forza Horizon 5. I mean, who doesn't love driving over the vast expanse of Mexico in the car of your dreams? The game has been out for a little while now and got glowing reviews for its outstanding visuals, great driving mechanics, and incredibly fun gameplay loop. With the addition of the Hot Wheels DLC a few months ago, we've been given an entirely new playground to explore and it was really one that didn't disappoint. Next up we have the hack and slash online multiplayer phenomenon Chivalry 2. This game came charging out the gates like a stallion with its incredible PvP action and huge multiplayer battles. I for one was blown away and I've spent multiple hours already on this game and I mean to be honest this game is absolutely addictive. It really does take the cake for being one of the best multiplayer experiences on Xbox and it's also hilariously stupid. If you enjoy a pretty relaxing game of sword slashing and shield bashing, then this is the game you need to check out. Now, one title that seems to get overlooked all the time, but is regarded as a purely excellent title is Tunic. I mean, how can you not love taking control of a little fox adventurer where you explore a mysterious isle, all of which is obviously inspired by the Legend of Zelda series. I mean, the game got nominated for best debut indie at the Game Awards, and it still gets overlooked by many gamers. I think many players were put off playing this game due to its Dark Souls level difficulty, which is somewhat true. However, with accessibility options and difficulty options aplenty, it makes the game even easier depending on your skill level. Definitely hop on over to the little box and give this one a go. I do look back on 2022 and realise it was a pretty bleak year for Xbox exclusives compared to previous years, but we still got one of my favourite titles of the entire year. Grounded finally released with its 1.0 update, bringing with it a fantastic story and a boatload of content. This game officially has made me terrified of spiders, but to be honest, I'm more frightened of this floating blob. If you love exploring and crafting with friends in a Honey I Shrunk the Kids setting, then this is a game you need to try out. Now, if you want to hunt down alien mafia who are harvesting humans to use as drugs, then High on Life is the game you need to play. With you assuming the role of Earth Savior whilst wielding a plethora of funny and quote-toting guns called Gatlians, you'll make your way through a multitude of different environments in an incredibly funny adventure. I cannot recommend High on Life enough, and it was such a surprise hit when it came to Game Pass in December. Our next title is an indie that captured everyone's hearts when it released, and that is none other than the excellent Hollow Knight. You may have come across this game already with its rage-inducing gameplay, and safe to say there are many, many, many clips out there of gamers getting enraged by this game. You may be wondering for that case, why is this on the list of best Game Pass games? And to be fair, it's down to the addictive gameplay loop great platforming and varied bosses. This is one of the best indie games we have seen in years, and I cannot wait for Silksong when that arrives this year. Well, it wouldn't be a list of the best games on Xbox Game Pass without mentioning the biggest IP in Xbox history. I'm yet to meet a gamer who doesn't know what Halo is, and that's for a very good reason. With one of the best protagonists in gaming finally returning in a semi-open world adventure, this was obviously going to be high on any list. The story is really great, the multiplayer is free, and even though it does lack a bit in content, it's still really good honest fun. If you're a fan, you have likely played this, but if you haven't, then I'd definitely jump in the world of Halo if you haven't done so already. We now have a pretty awesome game that I've been addicted to lately and have been watching many content creators play this game. If you love pirating and causing mayhem in large open world of ships and islands, then Sea of Thieves is the game you need to play. Coming from Rare, the masterminds behind Banjo-Kazooie, this game is a unique one-of-a-kind pirate experience 
experience and the best implementation of PvE and PvP I've ever seen. With a multitude of quests, ship battling and grog drinking, you should definitely set sail on the Sea of Thieves. A game that came out very, very recently, and even though gamers complained of the 30 FPS frame rate, is the gorgeous and heart-pounding A Plague Tale Requiem. This game includes a fantastic story and some of the most impressive visuals ever seen on the next-gen consoles. And I tell you what, there is a lot of rats. After I got through my terrible experience of dealing with my fear of rats, I can tell you that this game is certainly one that you need to try out. You don't need to play the original game to enjoy this one, and it's one of the best third-person story games currently available on Xbox. Now, as we rewind back in time to the glory days of Xbox and go back to the glorious days of the 360, there were so many amazing games, and I remember running home from school just to turn my Xbox on. Now, finally, this generation has given us backwards compatibility, and right now on Game Pass, you can get access to the entire Fable franchise. I'm including all of these games under one roof, however, they are some of the best RPGs ever made on a console, and are incredibly unique in terms of game systems and comedic British writing. If you haven't played Fable, you need to give these a go before the new one arrives within the next couple of years. If you're a fan of LEGO games, then there is no bigger game in that space than LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. With the entire game consisting of seven games, you must be thinking that's a trap. However, with some of the best LEGO gameplay we've ever seen, the best visuals so far in any LEGO game, and a huge web of content to dash your lightsaber into, it's certainly a significant game for Xbox Game Pass. It scored incredibly highly with critics and players alike, and worth diving into for some wholesome Star Wars goodness. Psychonauts 2 dropped onto Game Pass last year, and we finally got to see the masterpiece that Tim Schafer has been working on for years. It is a fantastic game and finally gets us back in the shoes of Raz and lets us explore some wonderful and truly unique trippy worlds. The game got high praise upon release and I cannot recommend this enough as I spent hours upon hours playing this game on release. It's one of the best experiences available on the Xbox Series consoles, so if you're a fan of open world platformers, you definitely need to give Raz a go. Now, we all love jetting away on holidays and it's astonishing to see the view from the outside windows when you're up in the Air. Well, Flight Simulator finally arrived onto Xbox Series consoles for the first time and is a masterpiece visually and technologically. You can choose to fly in a multitude of different planes across a full scale and beautifully rendered Earth. You want to fly across the Himalayas, you can, near the Eiffel Tower, again you can, and anywhere else your heart desires. The game could be as easy or as complex as you like, and is truly a work of art by Sobo Studios. With probably one of the biggest surprise hits of 2022, but to be fair, I think many of us never expected Obsidian to miss. Pentiment is a one-of-a-kind game with its medieval manuscript-style visuals and over-the-top but hilarious humour. I don't think many of us saw a project coming out of Obsidian such as this, but essentially you will take control of Andreas Maller, a master artist who will find himself in the middle of murders, scandals and intrigue in the Bavarian Alps. The user scores don't lie with this one and show how great the game is, so definitely give it a go. Guardians of the Galaxy was a game that many were sceptical about due to the absolute dumpster fire that was Marvel Avengers. I mean, we all thought this was going to be dumped with loads of microtransactions, terrible combat and the worst loot system we've ever seen in gaming, but we were absolutely wrong. Guardians of the Galaxy is quintessentially one of the best Marvel games to have ever been produced, and finally gets to make up for the awful launch of the Marvel's Avengers. The game has a superb story following Star-Lord and his compatriots, an awesome combat system, and is really unique and doesn't get boring, and all of that with no microtransactions. I will always recommend this beauty of a game. Now, one game I always see overlooked by much of the community, but is heavily regarded as one of the best JRPGs ever made, is Octopath Traveler. I challenge anyone to find a game that has a better art style than this game. You will embark on an epic journey across the vast and wondrous world of Ostera and discover the captivating stories of the eight travelers you will take control of. This game is so highly rated and that is why Octopath 2 is coming just around the corner. Signalis is one game that always gets recommended to me and was actually a lot of gamers game of the year for the last year. This title was so heavily overshadowed by the likes of God of War Ragnarok and the official game of the year Elden Ring. However, if you're a fan of horror, then you need to drop what you're doing and play this game right now. This is a classic horror survival experience set in a dystopian future where humanity has uncovered a dark secret. You will go on to unravel a cosmic mystery, escape terrifying creatures, and scavenge an off-world government facility. This is the best homage to classic horror games I have ever seen. 
Well, 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 I think I would be called various horrible names and possibly destroyed if I didn't mention this next game. It was the biggest hit of 2022 with its addicting gameplay and players including myself sunk hundreds upon hundreds of hours into it. I'm not talking about Elden Ring, but instead Vampire Survivors. If you have somehow not heard about this game, then where have you honestly been? Don't let the simplistic art style sway you away from playing this absolute gem of a game because I did and I really lived to regret it. This is one of the best survival roguelikes that I have ever played. Believe it or not, many Xbox gamers have yet to experience our next title and that is one of the best exclusives to grace the Xbox One era of consoles, Sunset Overdrive. This was one of the last titles bought to us by Insomniac before they got purchased by PlayStation and wow do it did blow us away with its crazy combat, incredible sense of humour and great parkour moves. This is a world where people have been turned into essentially zombie alien hybrids due to a toxic energy drink. This is not a plot many would have expected, but the game is so vibrant and over the top, which makes it such an awesome experience. This game sits as one of the best exclusives on Xbox for all time, so definitely jump on and grind those rails. Hellblade is an incredible experience. I don't think I need to say anything else really. Every man, woman and dog has heard of this game, and is simply one of the best narrative experience to ever grace the gaming stratosphere. This puts players in the shoes of Senua as she delves into the depths of Helheim to save the souls of a dead lover. The unique premise of this game is the ability to portray psychosis in such a perfect way and really makes players understand mental illness not seen in this way before. This game is best with headphones and many gamers including myself make this a must play. Roll on Hellblade 2 when it arrives very soon. Now a game that I recently dove back into and couldn't believe how well it plays and looks today is Rise Son of Rome. This was essentially the game that was used as a sort of technical demo to show off the power of the Xbox One and my god did Crytek blow the socks off of all of us. Even now the game yes runs at 900p 30fps via back compat but it still looks as gorgeous as when it was released. You assume command as Marius who witnessed the brutal murder of his family by barbarians and is on a vengeful quest to destroy those who did it. The set pieces are outstanding, the gameplay although a bit basic is brutal and cinematic and the story is pretty decent. Definitely a gem to play if you haven't already. Big surprise this year already is the highly rated and outstanding Hi-Fi Rush. We've all seen the media coverage about this game and it is one game every Xbox gamer needs to play right now. You will follow a young 20 year old called Chai who becomes a defect after a mishap with his arm surgery. You will follow him around this ribbon based cartoon inspired world and defeat the evil Megacorp. The soundtrack alone is fantastic but the blend of gameplay, world building and animation make it one of the best Xbox exclusives we have seen in recent years. The Outer Worlds graced us when it released back in 2019 and again is another title from the so well known Obsidian. We have all seen the masterclass that was Fallout New Vegas and this title certainly takes the best bits of Obsidian's world building and puts it into a whole new experience. You will explore a space colony where your character will determine how this player driven story unfolds. You can expect a multitude of choices, dialogue options and endings and no way is one playthrough enough to experience the full game. Next we have one of my favourite Star Wars games to have ever graced the gaming stratosphere and that is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. With its sequel due in 2023 you need to play this game and if you haven't had a chance already boot it up right now. In this game you take control of a brand new Jedi Padawan who narrowly escaped the purge of Order 66. You will go through the galaxy to rebuild the Jedi Order as well as rediscovered your shattered past. This is one of the best stories ever told in the Star Wars universe and I think many are with me when we can't wait for Jedi Fallen Survivor this year. Now a game that has hundreds of awards and is still regarded as one of the best single player story experiences of all time is Mass Effect. On Game Pass players can play through the entire trilogy but enhanced via the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Every day I'm on Twitter there's always someone discovering these phenomenal games. I don't want to spoil any of the story if you haven't somehow played these games yet but there is a reason why these games are still held as some of the best of all time. Persona 5 joined Game Pass within the last 6 months and is easily one of the best JRPGs on the service. We finally got to experience the masterpiece that was stuck on PlayStation for so long and 
boy oh boy was it really worth the wait i think it's at no surprise that this game was going to be amazing since it's the fifth installment in such a popular franchise and it's probably the best of the lot if you don't know much about this game then you will don the mask and join the phantom thieves of hearts as they stage grand heists infiltrate the minds of the corrupt and make them change their ways. It's a long game, but it's worth every single minute. With our next title, it was a toss up between the first release or the second, and I really did go for the latter. Ori and the Will of the Wisps is a perfect example of what a platforming game should be in the 21st century. The gorgeous hand-drawn visuals, the excellent tone and story development, and the great combat and movement fluidity all combine perfectly to create one of the greats. This is the second installment, so if you haven't played the first, I still recommend doing so, but after playing one of these games, you will feel a sense of storytelling and happiness that many games don't provide. See, I would be very much discredited if I didn't include this next game. So for my rock and stone brother and sisters, we have the Rock Galactic. The reviews really do sum up this game, and reading one out now, they say that it's Doom with Mining. You should play it already and stop reading reviews. If that doesn't excite you enough, then you're really missing out on a literal 10 out of 10 experience. I would even say that this game is one, or if not the best, on this entire list for Game Pass. The fact that you and up to four friends can delve into the depths of destructible and procedurally generated environments whilst defeating waves and swarms of enemies is utterly fantastic and an experience that cannot be missed. Dead Cells is our next title and this is a roguelite, metroidvania inspired action platformer. You'll explore a sprawling, ever-changing castle and fight your way past its keepers in 2D Souls-like combat. There are no checkpoints in this game, so we have to kill, die, learn and repeat. The game has been an overwhelming hit since its release and still gets regular updates to this day. Now, there are many, many Gears of War games available on Game Pass, and it is very hard to narrow down the best right now. You have Gears of War Tactics, which is an XCOM style strategy title, and then you have the big hitters like Gears of War 2 and 3. However, today I wanted to focus mainly on Gears of War 5, as it really showcases perfectly a stunning visual design and great aspect of gameplay. If you haven't played the original games, then I highly recommend you do so. However, Gears 5 ups the franchise to new heights in terms of multiplayer action, an impressive campaign and a really decent story. Gears of War 5 is set years after the first game and follows the story of Kate Diaz who is on a journey to find out the origin of the Locust Horde. This is a very memorable experience and even if you're wanting more Gears of War after this story, you also have the widely popular Hive Busters DLC which is great as well. I would be lying if I say that I've seen Agent 47 with hair, however when I say the Hitman trilogy are the best games about Agent 47, then this would be telling the truth. This collection is the perfect package that sets gamers loose in massive playgrounds as to truly devilish Agent 47 as he eliminates hit targets. With the release of Hitman 3, the previous two titles got a graphic overhaul which makes for some of the best looking titles available on Xbox. This is a stealth game through and through and really provides you with unlimited options to dispose of your targets. There are hundreds of hours of content in these titles, so remember Remember, you can either do it stealthily or go in guns blazing. That's entirely up to you. We all love a relaxing game when unwinding for a long day with the kids, work or school. And Power Wash Simulator fills that space with one of the most surprising hits of last year. Normally you would think that power washing would be boring and laborious. However, this game really twists the tail and makes for one of the biggest surprises of the last year. You are essentially a contractor who will take on jobs from as little as a dirt bike all the way up to massive playgrounds and houses. There is an extensive upgrade system and it's so therapeutic seeing the dirt just disappear. I cannot recommend a more complete game than Power Washing Simulator and we're even getting a Lara Croft crossover in the next few days. Now, Amori is a game that gets heavily overlooked mainly for being an indie title. However, it really is a diamond in the rough and truly a one of a kind game. If you have never cried to a game before, then definitely beware as you will certainly be hitting the feels after playing. Many will pass up on this game by simply looking at the art style, however what Amori does extremely well is its storytelling and the gradual build up from the foundation upwards. It is a psychological horror game with some deep topics such as depression and anxiety but the developers have really worked wonders. Many still to this day can 
consider the story to be one of the best they have ever played and that it will live with them forever. Well, a game that finally arrived onto Game Pass after the PlayStation exclusive period is the utterly fantastic Deathloop. Now, this game is not everyone's cup of tea. However, if you like games such as Dishonored and Prey, you're going to absolutely love it. You'll take control of Colt, and the only way to escape is to end the cycle by assassinating eight key targets before the day resets. This is an amazing experience and certainly requires many playthroughs, as one run is never enough. Now, one game that surprised us all back in 2020 is Ubisoft's Immortals Phoenix Rising. I think many of us, including myself, were really surprised to see such an awesome some unique experience being made by Ubisoft, especially after all of their generic titles over the past few years. This game finally switches up the generic Ubisoft formula by giving players a beautiful mythical world with mechanics similar to what we've seen in Breath of the Wild. The map contains a lot of content, the writing is comical and fun to listen to, and really brings a spark to what's missing in a lot of open world games. Definitely give it a go if you like fighting large monsters and Greek gods. What's your favourite Xbox game? let me know in the comments below. Whilst down there, like the video and consider subscribing for more Xbox content and check out the video on screen right now to check out some awesome games coming to Game Pass in 2023.